Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another week of online Sunday school. I am so glad that you joined me today. We have another exciting lesson on Moses and the Israelites and what happened after they left Egypt. So we know they left Egypt, but does anyone remember what we talked about last week in our Sunday school lesson? We talked about Moses' sister. Do you remember her name? Miriam. And Miriam sang a song of joy to God when uh, it was after God parted the Reed Sea and the waters came back down after all the Israelites went through. And the first thing that Miriam did was get her musical instruments and dance around and sing a song of praise to God for saving her and everyone else from Pharaoh's army. And we talked about how it's always a great time to praise God, even when they're, we're in, when we're in the middle of hard things, right? Well, spoiler alert, more hard things are coming up for the Israelites. Um, just because they left Egypt doesn't mean that their hard times are over. And that's what we're going to read about in today's Bible story. Okay, we can see our Bible story is called In the Wilderness from Exodus chapter 15, verse 22, through chapter 17, verse 7. And here's some of the pictures. So it looks like uh, as they go through the wilderness, they have to make camp, and so they're in tents. And they're all sitting around, and it looks like they're eating. So let's read about what happens. The Israelites were free from Egypt, but now they were living in the desert. The people were unhappy. They started complaining to their leader, Moses. Why did you lead us into the desert? They grumbled. We're hungry, and there's no food. God is with us, and God knows what we need, said Moses. That evening, quail flew into the camp. The people caught and cooked the quail. Everyone had enough to eat. The next morning, they saw thin, flaky stuff all over the ground. The people called the flakes manna, and they ate it like bread. Only gather as much manna as you can eat today, said Moses. Don't try to keep any of it for tomorrow. God will give us enough for each day. God continued to provide food and water for the people in the wilderness. Sounds like the Israelites were experiencing a classic case of hanger, right? Do you ever get so hungry that you get really cranky and irritable and you just can't be happy until you eat something? Well, the Israelites were definitely a bit hangry, I think, and they were worried that they wouldn't be able to find any food in the middle of the desert. There's not a lot of food just laying around in the desert. There's not much there. And so they begin to grumble and complain and they begin to blame Moses for leading them out into the desert. Why would you do this? We had plenty of food to eat in Egypt. And Moses had to tell them, remind them that God got them this far and God will continue to take care of them. And then God did. God provided quail, which is a kind of bird, and manna, which were those little white flakes all over the ground that's kind of like bread. God provided everything that the Israelites needed as they continued their journey through the desert. God provided food and water for them. Even when they were complaining, it can be really hard to keep being generous to someone who's really grumpy, can't it? Um, I have a hard time listening to people who are grumble grumble all the time, but God loves loved the Israelites so much and loves people so much that God continued to take care of them. What an awesome God. So I have a very important question for you. God took care of the Israelites when they were grumbling and complaining, but do you think God still takes care of us when we grumble and complain? So I don't know how you are, um, you may never complain ever, and that's great, uh, but I complain a whole lot sometimes, 
Um, I'm really bad. If I don't get enough sleep, very whiny. Um, I also can complain, like, if my mask starts getting really sweaty and I'm tired of wearing it, sometimes I'll complain a little bit. can get kind of old, even though we know it's the right thing to do to wear our masks to help keep everyone, everyone safe. <sighs> sometimes I just get so tired of it, right? And I like to complain a little. And sometimes I get really complaining and whiny if other people aren't following rules that I am following. I get really whiny. I feel like I'm the only one paying attention to rules and that can make me really grumbly. Can you, uh, can you, res uh, can you relate to any of that? Yeah, we're kind of, people are kind of complaining sometimes and that's okay. God made us with um, all kinds of emotions and life is really hard sometimes and sometimes the way to cope is just to complain and that's what the Israelites did and God was with the Israelites and guess what God is always with us even when we grumble and complain God is that generous and loving toward us so our craft today is going to help us remember that God always listens to us and God takes care of us. Even when we're being grumpy and uh, hard to deal with, um, God has infinite patience and infinite love for us and God always listens. Just like God listened to the Israelites and that's what our craft is. So, for uh, your supplies, you will need a piece of paper. I picked yellow. Um, we're doing a, like a desert background, and so I picked yellow. Um, you may pick a different color, and you can pick whatever color you like for that. Some markers to color with. You might need some scissors. Um, you might not. Some glue you will need. And then a piece of white paper. Um, this is perfect, uh, a perfect time to get some scrap paper if you have any scrap paper laying around because we're going to tear it up into little pieces to put on our, on our desert, okay? So the first step is to create our desert landscape. So I picked a plain yellow piece of paper and I have a brown marker and I'm just going to... Uh, draw some little dots and lines and stuff to make it look more deserty. Um, you are welcome to do that if you wish. Um, make your own little landscape and then we will do the next step, okay? Okay, so this is what my desert landscape looks like so far. Uh, I just did some dots to look like bits of sand and then some lines to look like sand dunes. Um, my interpretation. So yours probably looks different than mine, might look different than mine, and that's okay. And we're gonna go on to the next part, okay? So this is where it gets fun, and we get to get our glue out. So take your white piece of paper, and you can cut or tear, I'm just gonna tear teeny little pieces of white paper and then we're going to glue them onto our landscape because what was one thing that God provided to the Israelites? Oh, manna. And it was like little flakes. So that's what we're going to glue to our landscape, okay? Okay, so I have all my manna pieces glued on and I left a little bit of space because that's uh, we're gonna put something else on our landscape. What else did God provide to the people? Manna and quail. And quail is a kind of bird, so that's what we're going to add to our landscape. So I'm going to show you how I'm gonna draw a quail using one of my markers on my desert landscape and then you can try to copy that to draw your own quail. If you already know how to draw a bird 
then you're pretty much all the way there. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can. But I'll show you uh, how I'm going to draw my quails in case you want to look along. Okay, so I have my landscape in front of me. And to draw a bird shape, I'm just going to do like that. Um, kind of a leaf shape at first and then a smaller piece inside that for a wing and then a couple little feet and then a little tail and then a circle up here beak and then quail have a funny little curly feather thing on top and so I'm gonna give everyone a little curly hat and you can color in your quail. You can make it all different colors if you want. I'll probably leave mine like this. So I'm going to draw a few more on my paper and then we'll be about done. Okay. So draw some quail or, or birds. Did you draw your birds, your quail on your paper? I'm going to show you what mine looks like. All done. What a fun little picture of the desert that the Israelites were in. And we have our, our manna pieces and our quail to remind us that God provided for the Israelites. And that helps us remember that God provides for us. I hope you enjoyed our craft for today. Um, do you want to say our prayer? together so get your get your picture and you can hold it up or put a hand on it um, or look at it while we say our prayer it's in our Bible storybook if you would like to follow along I'm going to uh, film I'm gonna put the camera on the words of the prayer so you can read along if you want to all right here's our prayer you want to pray with me dear God thank you for listening to me when I grumble amen so sometimes we people grumble and complain, don't we? We can do it when we're in bad moods or when we have needs, like we need some more sleep or we need to eat or something. Maybe we can get cranky. Um, we might grumble when we feel like life isn't fair. We might complain when life is really hard. And sometimes, you know, that happens. Um, we don't want to make a practice of complaining and grumbling because no one, that wouldn't be fun for anyone, not even us. Like, it's not good to be complaining all the time. But, you know, sometimes life is hard and it's okay sometimes if you need to just let it out and grumble and complain a little bit. Um, the Israelites sure did. And guess what? God was there for them and listened and loved them no matter what they grumbled and complained about and they grumbled and complained a whole lot this one story that we read was just a small sample of all the complaining that they did uh, and god took care of them because god loves them so much and guess what god loves you so much so know that no matter how hard life is and even when things are unfair or you're tired or you're hungry or whatever it is that you need to complain about every now and then God hears you and God always cares what you have to what you have to say and God's gonna listen and that's really comforting it's comforting to me I hope it's comforting to you um, it's really awesome that a great big God that can part the Reed Sea and help people escape from Pharaoh's army cares so much about how we feel and wants to know that. That's pretty cool. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for joining me today for Online Sunday School. I hope that y'all had fun doing our little desert landscape with the manna and the quail. Uh, I didn't know how to draw a quail before today, so that's a thing that I learned. Always learning new things around here. Um, 
remember, you can tune into online church uh, later today, or you can also come to in-person worship if that's something that your family wants to do. Uh, lots of different ways to worship with our church family at Aldersgate. I love you guys so much, and God loves you so, so, so much. Um, and I will see you back next week, okay? Bye!